Okay, so here we have to solve the triangle. See, we have a triangle ABC, and I'm going to label the side lengths so that they're the same as the opposite of their angle. So in other words, opposite of angle A, we have side A, opposite of angle C, we have side C, and opposite of angle B, we have side B. And we're given that angle A is 93 degrees, angle B is 42 degrees, and side B is 11 centimeters. And so we have to solve the triangle, meaning we have to find the other side lengths and angles. In other words, we have to find angle C, side A, and side C. And so first thing, relatively simple, is we have to find the third angle. And we're given the other two angles, and we know that the sum of the angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. And so we can say that the angle C is 180 minus the other two angles. So 42 and 93, plug those in, and we can see that angle C is 45 degrees. And you can see that kind of makes sense. It looks kind of like a 45 degree angle. And now, how do we figure out the sides, the two sides, A and C? Well, if you take a look at this triangle, we're given the length and the angle opposite it. And whenever we're given that, you can be pretty sure that we can figure out, or we can use the sine law to figure out other sides. So here's how it's going to work. We can... Remember, the sine law says that the ratio between the side length and the sine of their angle for all three, so in other words, A over sine A equals B over sine B equals C over sine C, those all three will be equal. In this specific case, it helps to use A and B because we're given, right, we're given B and sine B, well, we're given the angle, right? We're given lowercase b and capital B, and we're given capital A, which is 93. The only thing we don't know is lowercase a, and so we can solve for that, right? One variable means we can solve for that quantity. So plug in our values and solve for a, multiply both sides by sine 93 degrees. We get a equals 11 sine 93 divided by sine 42. If you plug that into your calculator, it's about 16.42 centimeters. Okay, so that's side length A, for side length C here, we can do a similar idea because we know the angle opposite and we know these two, right? We're going to use the same ones. And so we can say C over sine C equals to B over sine B. We know lowercase b, capital B, and capital C, right? We, we calculated capital C in this question. And so we can plug those in and solve for lowercase c. And so we get Multiply both sides by sine 45. We get 11 sine 45 divided by sine 42 degrees. And that, if you plug that into your calculator, you're going to get 11.62 centimeters. And so there you go. That's the question. We solve for the remaining angle and we solve for the other two unknown sides. And there's your final answer.